Hello student, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. In today's video, we will do part 1 of chapter Rational Numbers. In this part, we will understand closure property of rational numbers. So let's start and first see what are rational numbers. The word rational comes from the term ratio. You know the ratios like 3 is to 2, 4 is to 5, which can also be written as 3 by 2, 4 by 5. So all numbers which can be written in the form of P by Q, where P and Q are integers, are called rational numbers. For example, 3 by 8, 6 by 11, minus 7 by 13, 9 by minus 5, all these are rational numbers. Now let's understand closure property of rational numbers under addition. Let's understand this with help of examples. Add two rational numbers 2 by 3 and 4 by 5. LCM of 3 and 5 is 15. Therefore, the sum of these two rational numbers equals to 2 into 5 plus 4 into 3 by 15 which is equals to 10 plus 12 by 15 so we get the sum as 22 by 15 Student, did you notice that sum of two rational numbers is also a rational number? Let's see one more example Add two rational numbers 7 by 5 and minus 5 by 2. LCM of 5 and 2 is 10. Therefore, sum of these two rational numbers equals to 7 into 2 plus minus 5 into 5 divided by 10, which is equals to 14 plus minus 25 by 10. So we get sum of two rational numbers as minus 11 by 10. So students, again when we add two rational numbers, the sum is also a rational number. Therefore, rational numbers are closed under addition. Now let's see closure property of rational numbers under subtraction. Let's take an example. Subtract 5 by 6 from 7 by 9. LCM of 9 and 6 is 18. Therefore, we get 7 into 2 minus 5 into 3 by 18, which is equals to 14 minus 15 by 18, and the difference comes out to be minus 1 by 18, which is a rational number. So, students, difference is a rational number. Let's see another example. Subtract minus 5 by 2 from 3 by 8. LCM of 8 and 2 is 8. Therefore, we get 3 minus minus 5 into 4 by 8. Solve it. We get 3 minus minus 20 by 8, which is equals to 23 by 8. So, students, when we subtract, Two rational numbers, the difference is also a rational number. Therefore, we can say rational numbers are closed under subtraction. Now, let's see closure property of rational numbers under multiplication. Let's understand this with help of examples. First example is multiply rational number 7 by 15 with another rational number 3 by 4 which is equals to 7 into 3 by 15 into 4. Simplify it and we get the product as 7 by 20. Students, please note that product is also a rational number. Second example is multiply minus 4 by 7 with minus 5 by 11 which is equals to minus 4 into minus 5 by 
7 into 11. We get the product as 20 by 77. So students, when we multiply two rational numbers, the product is also a rational number. Therefore, we can say rational numbers are closed under multiplication also. Now let's see closure property of rational numbers under division. Let's take few examples. First one is divide 21 by 4 by 7 by 8 which is equals to 21 by 4 into 8 by 7. Students simplify it and we get the answer as 3 into 2 by 1 which is equals to 6. So division of two rational numbers gives us another rational number. Second example is divide 2 by 7 by 0 which is not defined. So student, rational number divided by 0 is not defined. Therefore, rational numbers are not closed under division. However, if we exclude 0, then the collection of all other rational numbers is closed under division. So in this video, we learned what are rational numbers and closure property of rational numbers under addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then do hit the like button. Do subscribe to our channel Learning Notebook and make sure to press the bell icon. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.